But in a life after people, 200 years of corrosion have rotted away the steel supports. This bridge is beautifully built, but one would expect that without constant maintenance, it would come apart from its moorings. It takes the Skywalk only 15 seconds to plummet to the canyon floor. In Miami, the skyline is gone. Only a few rusted girders still point skywards. Now living in Florida's subtropical jungle, these chimpanzees are the descendants of those that for 20 generations occupied one of the city's man-made towers, where they learned how to farm eggs, eating what they needed and allowing the rest to hatch to produce more birds and more eggs. It was once thought that humans were the only species that could pass on learned behavior and traditions to subsequent generations. But research in the late 20th and early 21st centuries showed that chimpanzees share this ability, setting the stage for the possibility that these chimps may forge a civilization of their own. One could envision a scenario in which chimps who ran out of these buildings started building their own towers as a way to protect and farm the birds. Building platforms high in trees to attract the birds. You'd have the beginnings of construction in a new species. If they used what was left of our culture, our buildings, our roads, our bridges, to develop a trick that gave just one smart try, a leg up toward a somewhat civilized way of life. It could be our last gift, our, our sort of payback. Whether or not this chimpanzee tribe completes the multi-million year evolutionary journey that led to the first humans, the use of tools and domesticated animals could make these apes the dominant life forms in Florida's future. Long after skyscrapers in cities like Shanghai have crumbled, other sites remain. Although it appears eternal, time is running out for the Taj Mahal. This world-famous building in the city of Agra was built in the 17th century by Emperor Shah Jahan in memory of his wife. Although it has marble walls 15 feet thick in places, it stands on clay over India's most dangerous seismic zone. As a giant quake liquefies the clay soil, the minarets fall away and the stone and marble collapse. Two thousand years after people. The desert that has buried Phoenix has itself been transformed. Two thousand years of rain and snow have recharged the water table, bringing the underground aquifer to the surface and feeding the rivers again. With no humans using the water, Phoenix is a vast savanna, just as it was after the last ice age. It would be a beautiful, lush paradise of wild creatures. They will return and thrive in the desert. Beasts that once avoided people hunt as though they never existed. The animals have forgotten humans. Or have they? Would anybody talk about us after we're gone? In the waters off Florida, the descendants of dolphins that once shared these waters with humans now frolic. 
Is it possible that they have legends and stories of the times when strange mammals swam with their ancestors? Dolphins certainly communicate using sound. If they tell stories about us, it's more in the sense of sonar images, an impression that these people on land used to give me a lot of fish. I imagine that we would fill the niche that in a lot of our tales are filled by the gods, the legendary creatures who could bridge the chasms. It's an interesting notion. While dolphins were native to these waters, many of the creatures that thrive in the absence of humans will be invaders from other lands. So while buildings and infrastructure might degrade over time where the footprint of humanity may disappear, I believe the introduction of, a, of exotic species is forever and it will permanently change the, the landscape. I believe this is man's legacy. Old habitats have new rulers. Familiar landscapes have been transformed. Man's works have fallen. When the invasions are complete, there will be no thanks from the victors or blame from the defeated. Every species that remains will fight for land, for survival, for life after people. <laughs>